My name is Ross Schaefer. I'm an Inupiaq from Kotzebue, Alaska. I uh, spent most of my life hunting, trapping, and fishing. And uh, it's only until recently that I'm finally focusing on art. But all my art is all animals that we know up here. Uh, we were very, very lucky. We had a father that uh, taught us everything about the hunting culture. And, and my dad was taught by his mom about the spiritual ways of the hunting. You know, the, the, the tradition of the Eskimo and any native in Alaska for that matter, um, the, every living thing or everything in this universe has a spirit. That's the way they look at life. And the spirit world and the natural world were parallel. A lot of my um, uh, carvings I've done are real spiritual. Uh, they're representations of the old um, transformation of uh, man into a bird or an animal. With changes in uh, everything, uh, including the climate, you know, you have to learn to adjust. And when I look at my dad and his generation, they went from a, almost like a Stone Age culture, speaking fluent Inupiaq all the time, living out in the country, hunting constantly. They had to adjust to the man on the moon, the rockets flying, and satellites, and uh, telephones and radios, you know. I think my dad was an artist, but he didn't do any artwork. He just knew how to work his tools. and He, uh, he was too busy hunting and fishing and raising 12 kids. Even though we live in modern times, uh, lots of our culture is still very much intact because of uh, adaptation. Uh, we just adapted the tools from bone to an ivory to metal. And... So, you know, I'm, I'm at a stage in my life where I'm getting older and my, I'm starting to finally slow down hunting and doing other things. And, and so I got lots of time to um, help others learn how to do this. With art, you just have to try. And you just got to experiment at times. And that's what I did with Uli Mammoth. I just started experimenting with it. And you just um, try to encourage young folks to try it because that's what it really takes is to be able to get that connection with your hands, your eyes, and your tool. And once you start shaping it right, um, you, you can become a carver very, very well. Being native doesn't matter what blood quantum you have. It's what you have in your heart as, as a person, as a native person. As I see myself as an artist, I evolve by building that confidence that I could do different things.